Hello and welcome to the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs instructional video on how to use the DCA portal to apply for the LED program. In this video, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step process of accessing the DC8 service portal and completing the application for the LED program. We'll show you how to upload the required documents, navigate the application process, and submit your application. By the end of the video, you'll have all of the information you need to successfully apply for the LED program through the DC Aid portal. On the DC Aid portal homepage, you'll find a new LED card under Learn More About Our Programs. If you select Learn More on the LED Based Paint Hazard Assistance Program card, you can obtain additional details on the program's income limits and other requirements. If you have questions or need help with your LED program application, scroll to the bottom of any web page within the DC Aid portal and select LED Assistance Agency Contact List. This will open a list of community-based agencies organized by county that you can contact for support. Each agency has trained staff who can provide you with information and guidance on the LED application process. To begin the LED application process, First-time applicants should select the Apply for Access button to request access to the portal. This will require you to provide your first name, last name, email address, and confirming your email address by entering it again. Once you've entered all the information, select the Request Access button to proceed. Next, you will need to link your DC8 Service Portal account to your My New Jersey account. If you have an existing My New Jersey Logon ID, select Yes. You will need to enter in your My New Jersey account Logon ID and password, then select the Continue button. If you do not already have a My New Jersey Logon ID, select No. At this time, you will need to create a My New Jersey Logon ID and choose a password. Your first and last name will automatically populate from your DC8 Service Portal registration. Next, you will need to create a security question that you would like us to ask you in the event you forget your password or ID at a later time. Once you create your question, you'll need to enter in the answer to the question. Additionally, your email address will also automatically populate from your DC8 service portal registration. Once the information is entered and complete, next, select the continue button to move forward. If you are a returning applicant, Select Apply on the Program Applications card to access the LED application. If you are a first-time applicant, you will need to complete the program qualifications. You'll do this by selecting the Get Started button that's available on the Program Qualifications card. Once you complete all of the questions, select the Submit button and you'll be rerouted here to the main landing page where the Apply button will be available for you on the Program Applications card. It's important to note that the program qualifications are designed to assess whether you are eligible for various programs provided under the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs. And the questions are not used to determine your eligibility solely for the LED program. After selecting Apply on the Program Applications card, you will then select Get Started on the LED program card to begin the LED application. After selecting Get Started on the LED program card, you will be routed to the initial page of the LED application, which is the acknowledgement page. This page will provide you with a list and description of all of the documents that you may be required to upload to complete the application. If you have questions about any of the documents, you can select the down arrow on the section and it will provide you with a description of the document. There are also some documents that will have links to other documents that you will need to complete. Once you review all of the documents, you will need to select the I acknowledge what documents may be required and then select the next button. Next is the property section of the application. This section is divided into three subsections. You have contact details to collect contact information related to the applicant. Second, we have property information which collects information related to the property where lead services are being requested. There are also 
helpful tool tips for your convenience for several of the questions. And then the last section is the occupancy information. And this is going to determine if the applicant is the owner or renter of the property. And then also to assess the unit's structural stability. Once the questions are complete, select the next button. Next is the household section of the application. To complete this section of the application, you will need to add all members of your household to the application. To start, select the blue Add a Household Member button. Next, in the Relationship drop-down fill, you will select the relationship of the household member to the applicant. Once that's selected, Add all of the personal details for the household member and select the blue submit button. You will need to continue this process until all household members are added to the application and then you will select the next button. Next, you will need to complete the income section for all household members over the age of 18. To begin, select the add an income button. Under household member, select the magnifying glass. Here you will see a list of all household members added in the previous step. Select the checkbox next to the household member that you would like to add income for, and then click the Select button. Next, in the Income Source field, you will need to select the source of the household member's income. You will need to select their pay cycle, and then enter their gross income per pay cycle. Once this information is entered, select the Submit button, and you will complete this process until all household members over the age of 18 have been entered. Once that's complete, you will then answer the question, do you receive assistance from any of the programs listed? Once that answer is entered, you will then select the next button. Next, you'll need to complete the documentation section. The system will determine which documents must be uploaded based upon your responses during the application. If the document category has an asterisk, it indicates that this is a required document for you to upload. If you have questions related to the document category, you can select the informational icon for a brief description of that document category. Under document type, if you select a document and then select the informational icon, you can get specific information related to that document type. When you are ready to upload your document, select Upload File. If you have more than one file to upload, select Yes and enter the total number of files you need to upload. You'll notice that a Choose File button will appear for each of those files. Next, select the gray Choose File button, locate your file or document that you would like to upload, Next, you will be able to preview the document once you've uploaded it, and then you would select the Submit button. Once the document is uploaded in the status field, it will say Upload it complete 100%, and then there's also a green check. If you need to delete a document, select the trash can. Additionally, there are several forms required by the LED program for you to complete and submit. These forms' names are pre-populated under document type. To download the form, select the blue Upload File button, and then under Document Download, select the form name. The last section of the application is the sign page. Here, you will need to review the fair hearing process. To acknowledge that you have read through the process, enter your first and last name in the fair hearing name field. You will need to enter the last four digits of your social security number in the fair hearing last four digits field. You will need to enter your first and last name in the fair hearing signature field, which will automatically populate the fair hearing signature date. Next, you will need to review the applicant certification. Once you've read through the applicant certification, you would be asked, did someone help you with the application? If you did not receive assistance from an agency in creating the application, select no. And then to acknowledge the applicant certification, you will enter your first and last name in the applicant signature field, which will automatically populate the applicant signature date. Once this is entered, you can then select the Submit button to submit your application. If you received assistance from an agency in creating this application, 
From the did someone help you with this application drop down menu, select yes. Next, in the agency county drop down menu, you will need to select the county that the agency is located in. Next, in the agency name drop down menu, you will need to select the name of the agency that assisted you with the application. The individual who works for the agency that assisted you with the application will need to enter their first and last name in the helper name field. The helper will also need to enter their first and last name in the helper signature field. This will automatically populate the helper signature date. Next, the applicant will need to enter their first and last name in the applicant signature field, which will automatically generate the applicant signature date. Next, press submit to submit the application. Once you submit your application, you'll have the opportunity to take a three question survey to rate your experience using the application portal. If you would like to take the survey from the drop down menu, select yes, and then select the next button. Once you complete the survey, select the submit button. Thank you for watching the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs instructional video on how to use the DCA portal to apply for the LED program. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact one of our LED assistant agencies.